KSBW Weather with Jim Vanderswan. It gets warm around here, and then the natural air conditioning kicks in. It happens all the time this summer. And southerly surge pushing that fog and low clouds back in. Some high clouds spinning around a very, very weak upper level low pressure system, but not much to spoil the party. It did cool down a little bit in places. Other places actually warmed up a little bit from what we had yesterday. Mid to mid 80s did it in Boulder Creek, Ben Lomond, 78 in Scotts Valley, 74 in Santa Cruz and Watsonville. And across the bay, we had 74 in Monterey, 75 in Marina, and 78 in Seaside. The southerly surge usually goes right by the peninsula, and cools off the north end of the bay first, and then starts on the other side. Uh, Carmel got a piece of it, though, 66 there with 88 in Carmel Valley, so quite a contrast as you went up the road. 70 in Salinas and into the 80s around Soledad, Greenfield, King City, pretty much where we expected them to land. It was still warm, though. San Jose, Morgan Hill, and Gilroy all in the 90s, but uh, Hollister got a piece of that sea breeze, 83 today. How about rainfall for the year? We close the book today, and I'm not expecting any more rain tonight, that's for sure. 21.92 inches Ben Lomond, which often is somewhere like 50 to 60 inches for the year, often over over 30 inches in Santa Cruz, we got a little almost 14, 13.57. Pacific Grove, Monterey, Seaside, all about eight and a half inches on average, 10 and a half Carmel Valley. Big Sur is easily over 30 inches during a year. Salinas usually about 14 or 15 inches. Look at this, six and a half, half of normal in King City. And this was not a banner year. We didn't get a whole lot. Six, seven, eight, nine inches in the Santa Clara Valley, and everybody ends up with a deficit for the year. And that's after a precedingly dry year. Uh, the year preceding was dry, I should say. Percent of normal varies depending on what site you're looking at, but about 38 to about 52 percent of normal for around the central coast. And we better hope we get better results from the rain next year. We'll see how it is. Too soon to say for sure. 111 in Vegas today. Lots of triple digits up and down the central valley. The breeze is cut off. The marine layer was gone. It got hot. But this was expected. The high pressure ridges moving inland. 78 Seattle, 91 in Denver, pretty hot and sticky in Dallas, warm air all the way up to about Chicago, 87 in Atlanta, and New York also in the mid 80s, and big weather. Low pressure system right here cranking out the leading edge, getting hold of that moisture all the way down to the south here. We're getting some severe weather. This storm, though, has already done a bunch of damage in parts of Minnesota and Iowa and is now pushing into Wisconsin and the Great Lakes. We have severe thunderstorm watches going up in the yellow. The red is for tornadoes. And this storm is an extremely dangerous, particularly dangerous situation as it pushes into Chicago. The derecho, which is a huge wind that could go up around 70, 80 miles an hour, may come with that thing left to be seen. Severe weather continues tomorrow on the Great Lakes, a little bit over the Oklahoma and Texas. Also, a lot of showers with a weak upper level subtropical, almost tropical system, subtropical now in Florida, keeping an eye on that. We have two tropical storms off the coast of Mexico, one near Manzanillo, still putting in some rain, but they're all moving westward. Out to sea. This low stays well north of where we are, so no more rain, at least not now. High pressure ridge, that goes by. Low pressure trough comes aloft, which slowly allows the marine inversion layer to lift up a little bit. That tends to provide a little bit of cooling. The next storm is going to be way to the north, and that won't be till the weekend, so no worries for rain. Fog of low clouds, patchy, stays pretty close to the coast the first night. We go from that southerly surge to more of a west to northwest flow. The layer lifts, and then that brings the fog and low clouds and cool air a little bit farther into the valley. So for the work week, they're looking pretty good. Temperatures actually ending up back to about normal, which is what we had expected. Expected them to do. 60s and 70s and some 80s for the Bay Area. May still a couple of low 90s in Morgan Hill and Gilroy, but will cool off a lot sooner in the afternoon. 70 looks reasonable for Salinas again, and low to mid 80s around Green, all Soledad, Greenfield, King City. Maybe a couple of low 90s for one more day at the south end of the valley, but that's likely gone. Mid to upper 60s around the peninsula will do it, and across the bay you're looking at mostly 70s and 80s in Santa Cruz country, and most lows are in the 50s. So tonight we're going with mostly clear ocean fog locally. Inland. Tomorrow, the valleys will clear that off quickly. Sunny and warm for the better part of the day, and a nice little breeze in the afternoon of the coast, sticking with that morning fog. But it clears the North Bay, but might linger around parts of the peninsula. That said, we're going for moderate temperatures, 70s to 80s, warming up a little bit in the tail end of the weekend, but probably not as warm as what we just had. So it's a nice way to get into July, which is also not only the beginning of a new rainy season, but is the beginning of your fog season. July and August usually get the most. Yeah. So I think if we had a few visits already. Oh, yes, we have. And a lot of people love it. That's our, you know, it's sometimes the best place to be in the whole country. Not you too bet. Hot.